Sometimes we don't like to spend time with our loved ones, even though we want relationships with them. And we want those relationships to flourish, but for some reason we we figure um, it's not going to work because of the way that you know we behave with each other. If you find yourself not wanting to be around your husband or your wife or your kids, um, the people that you love, even though you love them, but you don't want to be around them, this podcast goes into one of the key fundamentals that you can instill into your relationship to actually start enjoying that time again. Stay tuned. Assalamu alaikum. Hey, and welcome to the Million Muslim Minds Transformation Podcast. I'm your host, Abdul Shaheed, the founder of the Muslim Life Coach Institute, lead coach and therapist, helping you to transform your life through the science of the nafs. This podcast is for you if you are ready to up-level your life, get away from the fear and the anxiety and overwhelm, and create the most abundant life, beautiful relationships, and a life that you love. If you're ready for that, ready to create a legacy, let's do this. Assalamu alaikum. Hey guys, welcome to this week's episode. This is one of those relationship gems that you know I like to put out into the world because I know me personally I struggled with this one like let's just say this has been an ongoing struggle um, when I've not seen it the minute I see it the minute I understand I I quickly um, jump in line and actually figure it out as quickly as possible because what that does is that it improves my relationships um, as quickly as possible and that you know that includes my relationship with my wife or my kids or my you know my siblings my uh, friends uh, my you know in-laws like a lot of us we have relationship issues with our in-laws right I mean you know when you have a relationship issue with your in-laws what that does is that it puts a strain on your own family um, life and I know this because uh, many of you send me these messages and uh, many of you, my students, who are going through the Nafs Transformation journey, um, that this is the stuff that we work on the most because it gives you the quality of life that you want. Now, here's the thing. You know, you hear me talking about this a lot, but, you know, relationships, like a simple way to look at your relationships is that it's a connection, right? And I want you just to imagine, like, you know, it's you connecting to someone else and much of the time one of the biggest mistakes that we make it is really one of the biggest mistakes we make is that we fill our lives with so much like responsibilities achievements work all of the things that we love as well but we fill our lives with so much of those things that we don't have time to connect and when we are in the presence of the ones that we want that relationship with or the one that we're having the relationship trouble with um, then what happens is that we're not really present we're not really connecting and if you imagine a simplest way of looking at connecting is when you're having a conversation with someone not a conversation of animosity because that's disconnecting but a conversation with someone. So when you're having a conversation with someone and you're connecting to them, you're actually um, speaking, have it, having this uh, two-way conversation, not one way, because very often many of us, I know, like, you know, many of my students who are having struggles with their husbands or husbands having struggles with their wives, like many a times the problem is that it's a one-way conversation and you feel like you're having a conversation, you're connecting, and then afterwards you're wondering, like, you know, what the hell is happening? Like, why aren't we able to get on with each other? Why don't we like actually spending time with each other? So the question comes back down to, we don't like to spend time with each other. And so, you know, when we are connecting, it's not really a connection because uh, it's a one-way conversation or, you know, it's a, a conversation of animosity, which is more of a disconnection. Um, and, uh, and, the rest of the time we're just filling our lives with things that keep us busy and you know those things they may make you feel better in the short term right like you're binging on um you know cakes and biscuits and chocolate and whatever it is or you're binging on social media you're binging on anything that keeps you distracted but 
it doesn't actually help you to connect. So if you spend all of your life on connecting to everything else but the people that you want to have this relationship with, then there is no connection, there is no relationship. And then what happens is that we struggle, we suffer, we feel lonely, we feel disconnected, we feel misunderstood, and uh, and it spirals out of control. So the thing is, you know, very often, this is another one of the problems that I see a lot, and many of my students say they, they say this about, um, you know, their relationships. They find their relationships really boring, right? And uh, especially couples. Couples, you know, husband and wife, wife and husband, like, you find your relationships boring. And, you know, many a times what that means is that, you know, it only gets a little bit spiced up, if you're lucky, um, you know, behind closed doors. And, uh, and even then, because of the way that we approach each other, even behind closed doors, um, it's, it's really like doing the laundry. And, it, and you don't really feel like uh, you get, you know, it's really exciting. There's no excitement in it. There's no spice in it. There's no um, reason to want to actually spend time with each other. And this is a real problem for so many couples. And, and it all comes back down to the way that we approach, the way that we connect. Because if the way that you connect to your husband or your wife um, is from the angle of you know what's in it for me you know I, I i need to get my um i need to get my needs met when we approach a relationship from what's in it for me then what happens is that um the relationship suffers because it's really a one-way conversation what's in it for me is a one-way conversation it's not really a two-way conversation now i know like look you know as I'm coaching many of my students through these challenges, because we do a lot of this stuff, right? Relationships, husband, wife. Um, we don't do the typical, um, you know, marriage counseling and that sort of stuff because, you know, we know from experience and, you know, we've got a lot of experience, like years and years of experience where this stuff, you know, it works as a temporary fix or a short-term fix, but then the problem remains. And so what we do as we go through the science of the nafs process, applying that to your relationships, this is what I want you to understand, that you need to go to the cause. You need to actually figure out what's causing it all. And from that, like a simple way to deal with it is, you know, if you, if you approach your relationship with the attitude of what's in it for me, what's going to happen is that it's going to be a one-way thing. Now, if the two of you come in, both, uh, you know, both the husband and wife come into the same relationship with what's in it for me, then guess what? It's a one way. It's a one way connection. It's a one way connection. Like you're not really connecting because you're really just thinking about uh, what's in it for me. And and I'm not saying that you shouldn't have your needs met. But, you know, when we are coming from the angle of what's in it for me, what happens is that you lose all of the connection. And when you lose the connection, you lose the spice, you lose the excitement, you lose the the love and the mercy, the compassion, um, because it's not about giving, because love and c compassion, um, you know, when you are sharing it, it's about sharing. It's not about what's in it for me. So the thing is, many a times I see my students, my, um, you know, my coaches who who go through these you know they're you know we us coaches we're humans just like the rest of us right so that means that we have the same human problems the same relationship challenges and when we apply this science of the nuts framework into our relationships then what happens is that we stop coming from what's in it for me and we actually start thinking about what's in it for us and when you and here's what I want to suggest to you. I want to leave you on. I'm, well, I'm not leaving you yet, but I want to give you a real simple um, attitude to adopt when you when it comes to your relationships. I want you just to think about it like this. You know, if you approach your relationship with the "what's in it for us," then you're on a good beginning. You're on a good footing for a good beginning, a good foundation. But from there, if you want to add some spice into your relationship and you actually want to enjoy each other's company, then what you want to do is you want to ask yourself a question, a simple question. Like, how can I, me, 
How can I make this fun? Inject some fun into your relationship and you're going to find that love and compassion and passion itself will follow. So it's not just love and compassion, but love, compassion and passion will follow. Make it fun. Inject some fun into it. This is one of the things that I hear so much from couples like, you know, he's boring, she's boring. Like, uh, we, you know, we don't we have such a boring relationship. Like, I don't, I'd rather, you know, hang out with my friends or play on the PlayStation or go shopping with my friends and, you know, try on my new shoes. Like, uh, you know, when, when you got to try on your new shoes and that gives you more com comfort and pleasure than uh, hanging out with your, with your spouse, there's a problem, right? Shoes are uncomfortable. How can they really replace the comfort, the love and the mercy and the passion of a relationship? They don't. Like, PlayStations don't do that. Like, the amount of times I've coached people on, you know, they, they spend their time on the PlayStation as opposed to in their relationship. Like, your your connection is with the wrong thing. And, and it helps you in the short term because it keeps you distracted. That's the honest truth. Let's be honest. Like, shopping, PlayStation, holidays, all of these things, they keep us distracted. But really what you want to do is you want to put the passion back into your relationship. And that's uh, really like you want to put excitement, joy back into your relationship. That's what you want to do. And, and the easy first step is ask yourself this simple question. Not what's in it for me, what's in it for us, but that's not the question. Ask yourself the question, how can I inject some fun into my relationship? And guess what? If you just keep asking yourself this question and you make some tiny shifts, what's going to happen is that your relationships will start to reflect. And before you know it, your relationship will start to get a little fun. And guess what? If it's fun, you might actually enjoy spending time with each other. You know, we don't like to spend time with each other because we bore the hell out of each other. And uh, and that's the honest truth. Look, I speak from experience both on a personal level and a professional level. And I can tell you that you know, relationships are stuff that we got to work on, um, but we don't work on it like it's hard work. We work on it like we want to enjoy it. It's like a hobby. You know, the hobby, you do it because you enjoy it. You don't do it because it's hard work. So you want to take the hobby approach to your relationship and make it fun. Put fun into your relationship and you can, you're going to start to enjoy actually spending time with each other. And look, I have so many students who take this just this simple concept and apply it into your relationships and it impacts their relationships immediately and if you are actually um, applying it you're going to find that you actually enjoy your life you enjoy your relationships it makes a huge difference folk and uh, and if you're really struggling your struggle is beyond this um, then what i want to suggest to you is like you should be like in the nafs transformations because in the nafs transformations we actually go to work in changing all of the problems the causal factors we shift our relationships like so much that they look different by the time we finish and we love being the relationships that we create we go to work creating the relationships we want and if that's you this month we're running we're, you know we're really focusing in on relationships right now and you want to join us you want to join us and you want to make it um, a priority because it's your life it's the quality of your life you know how you enjoy your life or you don't enjoy it. that's the quality of your life anyway i'm going to leave you on that and inshallah you're going to take this and apply it into your life and then when you're ready you're going to join us and i'm going to help you to take your relationships to the next level no more marriage counseling some real fruitful change and adding the passion and the love and the mercy back into your relationships this is how we do it jazakum lahir Hey guys, if you are ready to take this life of yours to the next level, I want to help you to transform your mind, your relationship and your entire life. Join me on the Nafs Transformation School. We are offering two weeks free access to begin your journey. You're going to love this. And if you're ready for it, go to themuslimlifecoach.org forward slash live. That is the T-H-E Muslim Life Coach dot org org forward slash live and begin the journey of your life it's going to be amazing